You may be aware that the Yellowstone National Park is located above a colossal supervolcano, contributing to the presence of impressive geysers and thermal springs in the region. However, this also signifies the existence of an immense magma chamber beneath Yellowstone. In 2015, scientists from the University of Utah discovered that this chamber surpassed earlier estimations in terms of size. Additionally, they identified an extra reservoir of magma beneath the primary one. Evidently, the greater the expansiveness of these chambers, the higher the volume of magma they hold. Combining both reservoirs, they house a mass of magma sufficient to fill the Grand Canyon not just once, but a staggering 11 times. However, the most concerning aspect of these magma chambers is their tendency to exert pressure on the overlying ground. Consequently, Yellowstone's terrain rises at a rate of 1 to 2 inches annually. Adding to the unease is Yellowstone's classification as an active volcano, boasting a volcanic explosivity index of 8 out of 8. Such a high rating implies that a potential eruption could result in an apocalyptic event. To put it in context, the eruption of Pinatubo in the Philippines in 1991, considered the most powerful in recent history, merited a 6 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index. In this context, it is important to assess whether there's cause for concern with the Yellowstone supervolcano. In March 2023, the seismograph stations at the University of Utah detected a total of 354 earthquakes across Yellowstone National Park. While this may sound a lot, it's crucial to note that the most significant seismic event of the month was a minor earthquake with a magnitude of 3.7. This event was part of a series of 106 earthquakes that commenced on March 29th and persisted until the month's end. Indeed, earthquakes seem to occur in swarms, so it's wise to remain vigilant. Experts indicate that the seismic activity in Yellowstone is somewhat higher than usual but they emphasize that it's not a cause for serious concern yet. Nevertheless, scientists are diligently monitoring various subterranean activities, searching for any indications that might serve as warnings of potential eruptions. Several indicators serve as potential warnings, including the frequency of earthquakes and ground deformation. An abundance of frequent earthquakes, coupled with significant alterations in the Earth's surface in that region, can be alarming. The monitoring team also pays close attention to the temperature of the park's thermal features, considering it a crucial sign of a potential disaster. Park-wide shifts in geyser activity, as well as changes in gas and thermal emissions, are also noteworthy signals. Despite media assertions suggesting an imminent eruption based on the long interval since the last one which happened 70,000 years ago, it's important to understand that volcanoes don't operate on fixed schedules. The ongoing monitoring efforts aim to detect any unusual patterns or anomalies that may indicate heightened volcanic activity. Experts emphasize that one of the most prevalent misconceptions about volcanoes is the notion that they adhere to predictable timelines. Volcanic activity is inherently unpredictable, and the occurrence of events like super eruptions cannot be reliably forecasted. In the hypothetical scenario of a super eruption, the most alarming concern would not be the lava flows or the likely accompanying earthquakes. Instead, the gravest consequence would be the release of ash and subsequent ashfall, which could have widespread and severe impacts on the surrounding areas. Yellowstone has witnessed at least three super eruptions throughout its geological history. The most formidable among them was a staggering 2,500 times more devastating than the notorious eruption of Mount St. Helens in Washington State in 1980. The most recent super eruption, known as the Lava Creek eruption, played a pivotal role in shaping the Yellowstone caldera. This cataclysmic event expelled an immense volume of volcanic ash, dust, and rock into the atmosphere. Recent scientific discoveries have brought to light two previously unknown super-eruptions that occurred approximately 9 and 8.7 million years ago. Among these, the more recent event is now recognized as the largest recorded occurrence in the entire Snake River Yellowstone Volcanic Province. Let's delve into the events that unfolded millions of years ago, as none of us were around to witness them, 
and our understanding is based on available evidence. The initial indications of the impending disaster manifested long before the catastrophic eruption occurred. Over thousands of years, heat had been emanating from the Earth's interior, causing the gradual melting of rock beneath the planet's crust. This process created expansive chambers that became reservoirs filled with a pressurized blend of semi-solid rock magma, water vapor, and various gases, including carbon dioxide. This subterranean concoction, a searing soup, continued to expand as more magma accumulated over time. Gradually, the land above the volcanic system rose upward due to this slow and relentless process. A year preceding the super eruption, Yellowstone provided a warning, akin to a subtle signal, although back then there were no individuals equipped to interpret such signs. Most of these alarming processes unfolded beneath the surface. Decompression released gas bubbles, and the rupture of these bubbles often fueled specific types of eruptions. In the months leading up to the eruption, small-scale earthquakes became more frequent and intensified. The ground across various locations within the supervolcano exhibited higher temperatures than usual. Surface lakes and groundwater also experienced warming. Had people been present during that era, they might have observed unusual steam, causing fog in the area. Shortly before the eruption commenced, escalating pressure pushed the ground above the magma chamber upward, forming a dome-shaped uplift. Subsequently, narrow cracks began to emerge along the edges of this dome. Picture the sensation of opening a shaken soda bottle. A similar event was unfolding near the volcano, reminiscent of the reaction between Mentos and Coca-Cola. The mounting pressure found release through fractures, with gases bursting out from beneath the surface. In the moments just before the calamity, the ground surrounding the Yellowstone volcano elevated. Geothermal pools and geysers heated up to boiling temperatures and became more acidic than usual. Simultaneously, magma ascended towards the surface. Eventually, the rock roof of the magma chamber reached a breaking point, triggering the eruption. Preliminary tremors, small but persistent, began shifting the ground in the days leading up to the catastrophe. However, the true seismic upheaval commenced mere minutes before the eruption, accompanied by a thunderous roar. A colossal column of lava and ash forcefully soared into the air. Within minutes, a pyroclastic flow swept across the area at hurricane-like speeds. This flow, a mixture of semi-solid lava fragments, volcanic ash, and scorching expanding gases, resembled an intensely hot and toxic snow avalanche. With temperatures reaching around 1,300 degrees Fahrenheit, it consumed everything in its path. The volcano continued to spew ash relentlessly for days on end, and the fallout had perilous implications for all living creatures. Volcanic ash, upon inhalation, transforms into glassy cement within seconds, posing a severe threat to most animals. The ash fallout proved especially lethal, with even sturdy trees succumbing under the weight of this dense substance. In just a matter of days, a substantial layer of ash blanketed vast territories. Once the ash reached the stratosphere, global temperatures began to plummet. The eruption was rich in sulfur, an effective sun blocker. Consequently, the ensuing cooling was so drastic that the world experienced the absence of summer for several years. The scarcity of food and clean water posed insurmountable challenges for animals during this bleak period. This super eruption was a colossal natural disaster with far-reaching impacts. The streams of lava coated an expansive area equivalent to the size of New Jersey with scorching hot volcanic glass. In an instant, it sterilized the land surface, eradicating all thriving plant life. If a similar eruption were to occur today, it could cover Colorado, Utah, and Wyoming with almost three feet of toxic volcanic ash. Numerous regions would plunge into darkness, and even the coastal areas, where a significant portion of Americans reside, would face challenges from the spread of the ash cloud. The fallout would destroy crops, contaminate pastures, and wreak havoc on power lines and electrical transformers. 
The potential consequences underscore the gravity of such catastrophic events on modern landscapes and infrastructure. Absolutely, it's indeed a relief that there's no imminent expectation of such a disaster occurring. Geophysicists affiliated with the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory assert that there is no imminent threat of a volcanic eruption. The prerequisites for such an event include an ample amount of magma poised for eruption beneath the surface and sufficient pressure to induce the ascent of this magma. Presently, neither of these conditions is met. With the array of challenges and concerns we already face, the prospect of dealing with a catastrophic event like a super eruption would undoubtedly add an overwhelming layer of complexity. Let's hope for the continued stability of our planet and focus on addressing the pressing issues at hand. What are your thoughts on Yellowstone erupting in the near future? Leave a reply in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.